<clears throat> Again, this is Frank DeMar with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, Part 2, for today, October 20th, 2010. And I'm going to talk about a little bit more about the uh, civil war, civil unrest that Jesus talked about in Matthew 24, 7. And how the civil unrest is just going to be a footstep to bring to a new world order and eventually the Antichrist who will run that new world order and how he is going to take this new one world order to a level never seen before in this world and he will have the position and power given to him to be able to control what you buy or what you sell and that means control of the global economy I want you first of all before I continue I want you to read some very important information and I'm going to connect the dots for you and then after I give this section I'm going to you'll scroll down to another video where I give you the actual documentation that I'm quoting for today but this is very important since we know that the global crisis is going to come we know that if we took a sample today most people would not vote to put one man in office to control the entire world they would think you were crazy if you're gonna do that but say for the example that there's chaos throughout the world because the United States collapses their economy falls the dollar falls and the ripple effect affects all over the world like it's already doing as the dollar falls um, to a point where there's so much chaos people are going to ask we need somebody to help us out somebody to get us out of these this chaos well the the person who will come will be the person who Jesus points to in the book of Revelation and that would be the Antichrist the man who is going to enforce what you can buy and what you can sell and so what I'd like to do is to give you some scriptures that you're really going to no, you're going to have to know these. You, get, you, you might as well put them on your heart. First of all, in Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 through 17, it says, He also forced everyone, small and great, rich or poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on the right hand or on his forehead. In verse 17, so that no one could buy or sell unless he had the mark which is the name of the beast or the number of his name. In Revelation chapter 14 verses 9 through 12, Jesus gives a warning and he sends angels to give a warning about anybody who goes along with this Antichrist and takes that mark so that they're able to uh, buy or sell in his new economy. It says this, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in their forehead or in their hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name here is the patience of the saints here are they that keep the commandments of God in the faith of Jesus and so we see a very important message go, message going out to the people in the tribulation saying don't ever take this mark of the beast because if you do, your faith is sealed into hell forever and you're never going to get out. Now, knowing this, listen to the word of Jesus Christ and I'm going to connect all these things. Jesus, when he was here the first time, stood before the Jewish people. And the Jewish people asked, asked uh, Pilate to crucify Jesus. And Pilate brought Jesus out in protocol and he said, who do you want me to deliver? Who, who's your king? Who do you want me to set free today? And the Jews yelled, Barabbas, Barabbas. So Pilate gave the people, the Jews, what they wanted. And they gave him Barabbas and they killed our Messiah, Jesus. They killed their Messiah without even knowing it. Now, going into the future, knowing what Jesus said, 
listen to these words again what Jesus said in John 5 43 I have come in my father's name and you did not receive me but if someone else comes in his own name you will accept him now you really need to understand the concept of what's happening here because we're going to see the same thing all over again when the economy collapses the world who never before would have considered asking one man to control everything will do just that they are going to call for somebody to take this world out of the morass that the global economy put it in and instead of going to Jesus who again just like we saw Jesus stand before the people the Jews instead of turning to the right Messiah and asking to release their Messiah once again the unrighteous world will be turning not to Jesus but they're going to be turning to another man like they turned to Barabbas now they're going to be turning to G not to Jesus but another man who's going to be 50,000 million times worse than Barabbas ever was and he is the man that Jesus warned about and he's the one who's going to control the world economy and he's the one that's going to stop you from buying or selling or doing having any part of the new global system unless you take that mark and if you take that mark we see from Revelation chapter 14 verses 9 through 11 you're going to hell and you're never going to get out so knowing this very important information we're going to go back to the the news showing us that the civil unrest that Jesus warned about is heading in the direction that Jesus prophesied we've started to see these riots already and pretty soon when the economy falls the man will be put in front of everyone just like Jesus was placed in front of every one of the Jewish nation there and the Jews they received the wrong Messiah and if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Messiah today the chances are that you'll be picking and looking for the wrong person are increased and this is why I wanted to take this segment and to get this information out these scriptures because they are super important you need Jesus as your Messiah you don't have to worry about dealing with the Antichrist if that's the case because the Lord promised we're not part of that wrath so scroll down and let's get into the news